Now, 13 WMAZ Sports with Connor Hines. Hey, how are we doing, Central Georgia? The Fort Valley State Wildcats are still that good. Yeah, beginning SIAC play, they've just, or should I say, since beginning SIAC play, they've lost just once, six and one. Here's the catch, though. You could say the same for three other teams in the league. Long story short, Fort Valley needed a win today if they wanted to stay in the hunt for a Division II playoff spot. Taking on Virginia University of Lynchburg. First half, Wildcats already up 21 to nine, and it's time for Tim Alderman to say nighty night. The Peach County native with the big sack, the second of the season for the former Trojan. The Cats lead it 24-9 at the break. Third quarter, Dragons breathing some fire. CJ Brooks finding Jonathan Wright Daniels He's going to go. Touchdown VUL cuts the Fort Valley lead down to eight. But FBSU rising to the occasion again on defense. Brooks is picked off by Jaden Walker. Thank you very much. I'll be taking that the other way. The Kennesaw State transfer proven to be a big pickup for the Cats. FBSU taking over deep in Dragons territory. Starting quarterback Kelvin Durham was out today. His backup. Pretty good. Donovan Anthony looking end zone. What a catch from Corinthius Edmonds. The concentration to hold on to the football. The Cats have their first touchdown since the first quarter. It's 30-16 Fort Valley. Later in the third, Cats driving again. Reverse, reverse. Daywan Bell going the other direction, and he is pushed just shy of the goal line. Cap it off, though, up the gut. Kentrell Williams finds the end zone. For the sixth time this season, Fort Valley wins at 37-26. The Wildcats 7-2 on the year, 7-1 in conference with the rivalry game against Albany State next weekend in Columbus.